Tonight, do you know what's in the air you're breathing? One city in Alameda County has a new way of measuring pollution. Night Beats' Andrea Nakano joins us now from West Oakland with a look at these eye-opening results. Andrea? The highest concentration of black carbon was found along Maritime Street by the port, which is just a few blocks away from the first pocket of homes in West Oakland. This data was made available thanks to a new air monitor created by two local scientists. Black carbon, otherwise known as soot, pours out of trucks, trains, ships, and anything that burns. It's been linked to premature deaths and climate change. Black carbon on its own, it's a uh large climate forcer, so after CO2, it's uh, perhaps the most important climate forcer that we emit. To monitor black carbon, Julian Cobble and Troy Cato's developed uh, this, an aerosol yeah. black carbon detector, ABCD for short. Black carbon varies block to block, and that warrants needing a network of sensors. For the first time ever, the two co-owners of Distributed Sensing Technologies developed a monitor priced reasonably enough to place on every block in every neighborhood, so they decided to test out the diverse community of West Oakland. The highest black carbon levels were found when truck traffic was at its peak, the lowest levels on Sundays and upwind sites west of the freeway. Now they are working together to create an even smaller device that will be available to the Average consumer. The central goal that we have for ourselves is to make a sensor that's as easy to use as a cell phone and can be produced in those same numbers. The question is how many people will actually use it? And I think it's important for people to be measuring carbon, all sorts of carbon, whether it's black carbon or other sorts of carbon, whether it's a personal handheld device by a pedestrian walking down the street, I'm not so sure that would make an impact or make a difference. I guess knowing it creates less ignorance about what's in the atmosphere, what's in the air around you, but we got to do something about it. The developers say if you have this monitor, you'll be able to detect the levels and find the origin of the black carbon. This monitor should be on the market by this fall. In Oakland, Andrea Nakano on the Night Beat. And even pollution can vary a lot on the same city block. Sensors found up to eight times as much black carbon from one end of a block to another.